Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here. This summer, I was part of a team that was focused on identifying students at risk of becoming not in education, employment, or training, or NEET for short. As part of our project, we worked together with two partners, Buckinghamshire Council, a local authority in England, and the EY Foundation, an independent charity supporting young people. Focusing on Buckinghamshire, they came to us with an interesting problem. The county is a fairly affluent county with good schools and high test scores. However, there are a significant number of students who end up neat or with an unknown status, meaning the council cannot contact the student anymore. Students who become neat are prone to other issues later in life, such as mental health issues, financial hardship, or general poor quality of life. The big question from the council is how can we effectively use the data that they've collected to identify students who are at high risk of becoming neat and give them support before that happens? So what did we do? We took the council's data and we applied machine learning to develop a risk score. Using this risk score, the council can prioritize students uh, for support that have higher risk. In addition, our trained models can identify different factors that are affecting a particular student's risk. Using this in information, councils and schools can provide more personalized intervention for their students, depending on what factors are really strongly uh, increasing their risk. Before we actually built our own model, we, developed, we investigated other tools already in use. Manchester County uses the RONI tool. RONI is a simple scoring system that assigns weights to different risk factors, and then it sums them up to measure a student's risk. So roughly in Buckinghamshire County every year, there are about 50 NEED students. Um, if we looked at how the RONI tool did, it would identify about 31 students before they became NEED. In contrast, the model that we built would identify modest 33 students, gain of about two students. However, the big difference between Ronnie and our model is in the number of false positives. Student is a false positive if Ronnie flags them as neat, but they actually end up staying eat. As you can see, Ronnie flags many, many students that are actually eat. In fact, over 300 in a single year. In contrast, our model cuts that down by half, saving valuable time and resources. So in summary, our model flags more students um, that actually end up neat than the Ronnie tool. We flag about half the number of students that don't actually end up neat, and this is going to save valuable operational costs and time for both the council and schools. But opening the black box of our model, we also took a look at what were the most important risk indicators in Buckinghamshire for students who become neat. The biggest one was that they had a medium level of support. Second was they had a large number of absences, whether they had a mental health issues previously, whether they had unauthorized absences that had no clear reason, and whether they were a parent. The most interesting one here is actually that first one, whether they had a medium level of support. You'll notice that both intensive support and little support didn't actually show up as, it, as one of the top five factors. This seems to suggest that students who are flagged as needing support, medium support, are maybe not getting all the support that they, that they need. Building a machine learning model is not really all that useful if we can't effectively communicate it to the end users. To do this, we integrated with the council's current infrastructure and built a Power BI dashboard. On this dashboard, we included a heat map of the different areas in Buckinghamshire County that have a high rate of high risk students. Using this information, the council can target their support to those particular communities that have very high risk. In addition, we developed um, a prioritized list of students with high risk scores and that could be uh, filtered by school. In addition, the council can drill down on particular students to try to understand why they are at risk. Using this, they can give this information to different schools and schools can use this information combined with their already not the present knowledge about the student to give more personalized intervention. Finally, we created a list of prioritized list of students with an unknown status that the council cannot currently contact. Um, and using this information, the council can then prioritize contact with those particular students who are most likely to be neat. Going forward from here, we hope foremost that the council can use this tool to help identify students who are at high risk of being neat now and for the next year's cohort. In addition, we have open sourced our code 
to drive adoption by other local authorities and hopefully be able to apply this tool to the rest of the UK. Every year, there are about 31,000 students who become NEET in the UK. Using our tool could ide help identify about 4,200 more students than were any tool, um, helping improve the educational system. Yeah. My name is Abhijit, and my teammates are Rachel, uh, Rachel Pranjus, Manchika, Satyam, and Mahir. We're happy to take your questions in the poster session immediately after. Thank you for your time.